Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here and we got a few things done with Mecha Friend and how Mecha Friend was taken apart and everything. Mecha Friend will get the parts for Dork all together in time. Well, not that he could disobey his orders anyway. Hey, it's already looking like a beast. Just you wait, I'll get even better. Only I could figure out how to build a system like Agnes's auto loves have. Yeah, auto loves are pretty cool. Hello, you walking in this knop-on? See Mimi's flute playing is really coming along now. I'm not sure good is the word, but at the last off-seeing, he made the motes of ri rise like he was supposed to. Folks around have even started calling him See Me Off. <laughs> That's a funny one, yeah. Alright, wasn't that like the name of the quest or whatever that we did? I think that was the quest name for that one. Alrighty. Uh, I think I want to go ahead and, uh... Do those quests I saw last time. Don't know why I'm going through every single menu until I find the right one here. So, Tyon decides to help procure some supplies to confirm the accuracy of Colony Iota's intel, though is undecidedly or is decidedly unimpressed by Philly's attitude. Okay, and it seems like this one doesn't give a ton of XP or anything. So we'll do this, then we'll do Rousing Boliaris. Enemies and allies requires um, Alexandria, so we might go ahead and do that one too. All right, so let's just go grab these things. Oh, cool, we're going to a new area. Neato. Neato, neato, neato. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we're over here in Dana. There's those level 46 nerds. Whoa, got a red Hello. Right here. Not gonna be fighting you. Not gonna be fighting you. But you're cool, you're cool. Oh yeah, that reminds me, um, the, I think it was a memory locket, the really, really expensive item from the Nopon Sage, that I was like, how do I already have one of these? Apparently I got that from a Ferranus chest, of all things, which is hilarious to me. I got, like, the most, one of the most expensive items just from a random Ferranus chest. I'm not complaining, though. I thought all of the items that were there were going to be unique to the Nopon Sage, but it's probably just a way to farm them, and you can probably still find, like, one of each throughout the main story, or even more. We should be able to use some of this. Alrighty, so give me those. Cotton branch. I'm not sure if you can farm the golds, though. Obviously you can farm the silvers, but... I'll follow you. Maybe you can farm the golds Absolutely. somehow in, like, post-game or something. Well, you're already basically done. Open the chest, you dorks. Alright, what do we get? Well, we can't possibly keep Philly waiting now, can we? Luminous memory, challenger gauntlet, fiber, underguard. Whoop. Box, that guy pisses me off. Yeah, Uni doesn't like Philly. Philly is a little bit of a jackass, I will not lie. Alright, what's our new shit? Uh, Fiber Underguard. 65% resistance to shackle blocking. 30% more damage, but take 10% more. And extends stance duration by 30%. Interesting. Challenger Gauntlet is very interesting as well. All right, yeah, and uh, Senna was almost done with her class. That reminds me, what else is hanging around here on this map? I mean, there's this whole zone. Oh, hey, there's also a quest over here. Oh, wait, no, that's just okay. Never mind. <laughs> that's just um, that's just the quest I was already uh, working on with the uh, knob on and everything. Alrighty, so what are you? Oh, that's the Rousing Boliaris quest. All right, well, let's just uh, refer to our thingy to get where we need to go. Got to go talk to Feely. I thought I had to collect another one too. Or are we turning in? I guess we're turning in the stuff we got for each one. All right, hello, you jerk. Gonna ask you to stop being a creep. Hand over the extra provisions. Right, I think we're good here. Satisfied that we're as good as we say now, Scruff? I have a name. Take care of the commander, Tyon. Right, I won't be able to grace you with my presence anymore. Your time's up. I did think it was odd. It's not just about the time you've got left. You mean to leave, don't you? Yeesh, you're just too perceptive, commander. You got me. What? I hadn't heard anything about this. 
I gotta sit up straight in my chair here. Oof, gotta have good posture. Yeah, I just made up my mind. Figured I'd try Colony 30, but there's never a dull moment with all those knop on around. I want to party like a pawn at least once before I go. Thanks for the inspiration, Mia. Is this such a good idea if you leave now? It means goodbye, once and for all. But you're not going- but you're going to leave anyway. Look, Colony Oda is fantastic, really. You value and reward hard work. You know what? Maybe I'm the person who sh Maybe I'm the person who should judge the value of my life. Well, color me speechless. You'll be okay, Lexi. I know it'll be tough without me, but you'll survive. Just thinking ahead of ourselves. Got a wait all for you? Be honest now. I've always suspected, but now I know for certain our captain is an imbecile. Ouch, that cuts deep, man. Not that you're wrong. I'll take over your duties. You go ahead and live out your days the way you want to. Keep smiling till the end. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I think I can manage that, mate. Well, I'm going to head off before things get depressing. Take care. Alright, bye, Feely. Thank you, Feely, for everything. No. Pretty sad little ending for you, but at least you, you kind of want to go out on your own terms like everyone else has been. Yeah. I hope everyone's getting along. Vanity chart updated. Sequoia. Keep in touch. Does it keep in touch with you two? Wishing much happiness. No. There we go. There's 300 more done uh, over here. So... What should we do next? It's rousing Boliaris, huh? So I just want to make sure there's no new quest that like popped up here because I did that, right? What is this? Bugs? Oh, oh, that's that quest. Okay, well, we'll come back and do that one later, probably. But uh, for now, we gotta go ra uh, rouse Boliaris. This feels like a good moment to do it. Alrighty, so you're probably at the hatch over here, unless you're up there at the top. I hope you're not up at the top. Please don't be up top. You're up top. How rude of you. How dare you stand where you want to stand. I need you to stand where I need you to stand. So, the command. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense you're up here. Command, you're... Kind of like an... I, I mean, I guess like the council itself is an interim commander. You're supposed to succeed, but it seems like you're not sure. Commander would come here often when she needed to think. She told me her favorite thing in the world was the view of Colony 4 she got from here. We vowed to follow her to the ends of the world. It's the kind of person she was. Ethel will always be our commander. Can't imagine anything else. You really do look older than everyone else. Like, did you have just a little bit more time in the tank than the others? <laughs> I can't get over it. It's not just the hair. Like, your face looks older too. I'm sorry, Boliaris. I don't know what to say. Oh. Bad day for rain. Sorry. Guess I must look pretty pathetic to you right now. Say, do you reckon you could do something for me? Yeah, of course. Anything. Can you take me to where the commander had her last battle? Boliaris, that's... Yeah, sure we can. We can fast travel there right now. Yeah, we can take you. Yeah, that rain. Oh, yeah, they, of course, they had it raining specifically for the cutscene. What a terrible day for rain, as Mr. Roy Mustang would say. Alrighty, let's drop down here. This might break your legs a little bit, Senna. Ooh, you barely survived. Someone died. <laughs> Sorry, Senna. Oh, hey, Ymir. How you doing? All I can think of is Attack on Titan when I see your name. Erk, this is all heading towards a unpl very unpleasant outcome. There's nothing else for it. I'll just have to accelerate my special research. First, I'll have to have the tactician squad purloin an Agni and Levness for me. Hmm. Don't you I always like the word purloin. It's a fun word. Maybach? 
Seeing fewer casualties now than we did at the beginning. The atmosphere in the colonies generally improved too. Bethel could see how things are now. Uh, no, sorry, just forget I said that, will you? I'm sure Ethel would be happy. Maybe feel... I, I'm, I'm imagining what you're worrying about is that Ethel will feel hurt because everything's going well with her gone. But it's not because... Well, it is because she's gone, but I like to think of it more because she's inspired everyone to, you know, work at uh, making all of this function correctly and everything. Parabro, did that talk to you? Door open, so great! Oh yeah, you're the one. Okay, yeah, 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 no, we, we, we can skip this. Yeah, I talked to you. Couldn't remember if I did or not. Like I said, I feel like I need to check in on those not bond occasionally because there's here. definitely one that I've missed. Hey, what are these Tyrkin doing here? Are we gonna have to trounce a Tyrkin? It's such a metal. Like, I can't believe... I can't believe they're just leaving him here. It's so metal seeing these two things sitting here. They seem like pretty good Feranuses. You'd think they'd come collect them. That's Ethel's Feranus. Hold up a minute. Who's that lot over there? Oh, those are Tyrkin. What are those Tyrkins up to? Are they taking over the Feranus? What? what I want to fight a Tyrkin po uh, piloted Feranus. Well, they are. Wait. Get away from that Feranus. Oh, you're a defender. Oh god, Hiccup. How dare you defile Commander Ethel's resting place. I'll tear you all to pieces. That's actually our job. You just have a- you, you just have a big shield, basically. Much too large to be called a sword. God, I'm so happy the search is continuing. Makes me very happy. Alrighty. Um... Go away, dorks. That side break. Oh yeah, I have shield back on this archer class. I mean, brother. What I really need is... Ooh. Well, this fight should... Oh, that blow down is so annoying. This fight should, um... Oh, come on! Alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're very dead now. I'm even to your back. Get out of here, you big doofuses. Yeah, I really don't like staying power, but I kept it on because I was like, well, I'm gonna have to switch the art soon anyway. Right? That's kind of my logic. Dang. Bluey. Bye bye. Almost got refreshing rain up. Come on. Uh-huh. Because I'm not actually getting my back attacks here. I was playing that a little bit lazy. Learned your lesson now, you feathered menaces. Then we're down, Boliaris, if we lose you too. Just tell me one thing. How did the commander die? Doing what she loved. She fought with everything she had to settle things with Kamaravi. Not even Mobius stealing her flame could shake her will. Her will. She was so noble. I felt like I was looking at the sun. She was so glorious. I see. Thanks for telling me. The only thing, I wish we could have gotten a bit more on Kamaravi before that scene. Just a tiny bit more to get, to kind of see what Kamaravi's deal was and everything. So we could feel the impact of losing them both. But maybe we'll get more from Kamaravi later because, uh, if Ethel got carried over there, I'm sure Kamaravi did too. I see. Thanks for telling me. She fought, true to herself, to the bitter end. Well, I guess I have my own fight to fight. I have to defend her legacy. Let's get back to the colony, Boliaris. Everyone's waiting for you. Yeah, head nod. Alright, Tyrkin seasoning. Got a bunch of Tyrkin seasoning. Alrighty. Come on, give me all the Tyrkin seasoning. God, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, we did we did beat up a lot of Tyrkin. Uh, okay, let's get back. So we probably want to go up to command, right? Probably. All right. Yeah, sorry, I had to take care of something, and I thought, well, this loading screen is going to take a minute because we're switching regions. So let me go ahead and take care of it while that was happening. Alrighty, we're going down. Yeah. I'm sorry, Senna. You always sound so pitiful. Oh yeah, did you finish off your class? I gotta check that in a sec. 
Hey, it's me. Call the squad qu captains through the council room. It's time to resume the meeting. You've got this. Will you join us? You don't have to do anything, just observe. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. First you run off, then you resume the meeting like nothing happened. What are you playing at, Boliaris? I'm sorry, everyone. I'll explain everything later. But before that, there's something I've got to say to you. You'd better come out and say it. Okay, then listen up. I, Boliaris, hereby... Resign my seat as lieutenant and take on the role of acting commander. What? What? You can't just... Wait a second, what did you say? What do you mean, acting? Maybe I can explain if you'll shut up for a minute. Look, I'm not cut out to be commander. You said it, not us. She's the only commander we'll ever have. I know you probably think so, and spark it, I agree. Colony 4 won't last much longer like this. We cannot lose the colony Commander Ethel left in our hands. So I'm stepping up in her place to lead this colony. Certainly need someone who can command us all, but... What's with this acting idiocy? It's not like... It's not the magnificent announcement you seem to think it is. You're joking, right? Sorry, Denzel, but I'm deadly serious. I know some think I'm not suited to the role, but I can't hand it over to anyone. I don't see a problem with it. I didn't think you'd be on board with this, Maxi. Ethel had an emergency... had an energy that we lack. And that energy is what let us get to Silver in three terms. I can feel something similar from Boliaris now. I think it's a good direction to go in. Looks like our ma looks like our maverick loose cannon has mellowed out. I learned that you have to change if you're going to survive. You have to learn to accept anything. Yeah, see, look at these quest lines. Yeah, because we've had quests with Maxi before. Yeah, this is cool. I love this kind of stuff. We need to bring our colony back to the top. That's what you're saying, isn't it, Maxi? Well, I suppose this way is better than some interminable yawn fest to decide her successor. Decisiveness was always one of Ethel's Colony 4's precepts. Well, now that you've declared yourself, I hope you'll be up for the job, Acting Commander. You mean... Now that we're all agreed, you'd better start ordering around. Ordering us around, Acting Commander. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of everything. Yeah! So cool. I really do love when everything kind of uh, connects like that. It makes for some satisfying things. It makes the world feel lived in and so much better. Um, one of the things uh, a reviewer for like um, the uh, Pokemon anime that I've uh, follows in her footsteps. You love Ethel. Oh. Um, one of the things uh, that's just basically the Max Affinity logo, if I remember correctly. But it's a heart, so. Uh, okay, and that le that quest led to this quest now, but... So I can get this thought out. Um, a Pokemon reviewer that I watch, one of the big things he's very big on, and one of the uh, directors for various um, episodes of the Pokemon anime is really big on, is hearkening back to things that happened way earlier. It really kind of makes the world feel lived in, gives it a sense of scale, and it's like, look, we remembered, and you should too, this thing from way back when, and it's like... That little just nod to Maxi being like looking at us and saying like, yeah, I learned something about that is very, very cool. Just having like all these different connections, it, it does so much for a story. Even if they don't all get picked up on, it's still super important, I feel. Isn't that an Agni in Loveness? What's that doing in a place like this? Didn't uh, that one character say they wanted to purloin a Loveness? It's not a safe thing to have in a Kavis colony, even if it doesn't seem to be working anymore. <laughs> no fear, I got permission from Boliaris. All proper, like, yes, we- Wow, see, that's cool. We just heard you talking about this. So neat. There's so much to these games. So then, have y'all worked it out yet? Sorry, but can we pause for a second? Who even are you? Oh, what a social blunder. I'm Ymir from the maintenance and development team. Now that's out of the way, where was I? Where were you indeed? <laughs> this guy barely even stops for breath. What I wanted to say concerns the Agni and Loveness over there. Here's my question. What do you think makes the difference between Kavesi and Agni and Lovenesses? Um, they have different color schemes? <laughs> Correct, but also incorrect. 
Pick one, mate. The right answer is their legs. Legs? I didn't know there was any difference. See, Agni Levinses come with a hover assembly as a standard feature. In other words, they can float. They're like Bouncer from FF7. Hmm, yes, that's true, now that you mention it. Now, this goes without saying, but the weight of a Levinus airframe is considerable. Additionally, they have to carry heavy ar armaments, therefore you'd think it's crucial that they're built with sturdy legs. However, not so with Agnian ones. They don't even have legs, and when they do, they're terribly spindly. Aren't you just saying that Agnian Levnesses are functionally better? Hehe. <laughs> Though I loathe to admit it, the Kvesi Levnesses truly play second fiddle to the Agnian ones in this one regard. That's why I made a request to the Tactician Squad that we see some proper Agnian Levnesses. I see. So you're basically using this Levnus as a subject for your research. Exactly, but the seizure operation was rather violent, so a lot of parts got damaged and now it's almost junk. So my dream of unraveling the mysterious Agnian technology is still miles away. So I thought I would ask you. Please help my dream become reality. I would greatly appreciate your cooperation. Are you asking us? We're not engineers or anything. What good could we do? No fear. It's rather simple, actually. Long story short, I need more Agnian Levnus materials to run tests on. You don't even need to try and catch one. Just defeat Levnuses and bring me back the parts. Pretty please? By parts, you mean literally anything? Yes, I'll inspect the parts myself. All you have to do is destroy the Levnuses with wild abandon and nab me the pieces. Oh, well, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but I only have a need of Agnian parts. Please don't forget. It, yeah, we've gathered that already. We'll bring some back for you. Well, luckily I, you know, beat up Iota, so we have a lot of those now. Probably have more Kavesi... Levness parts, though, after I stormed the castle. Whatever the required items. So do I have everything? House what progress. Avi's mech sword. Oh. Or Avis mech sword, rather. Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna need... We fought some testudos. Okay. I don't have a lot of those. I prefer quality over quantity when you're picking up these parts. Good quality samples will speed up my inspections after all. Now then, go out there, I'm counting on you. Yeah, we definitely can't do that yet. Okay. Um, saw another quest listed here, but I think it's just, yeah, that one down there. Okay, so we're basically done there. Ooh, what is that? Hello. So I'm guessing this wraps Quicksand Basin and then it wraps around there to that. Interesting. Still a lot over here that I need to explore. We'll definitely get to it sometime. But right now, more side quests. Uh, so let's go look at our list here. I was just looking at the map to see if I saw anything interesting. This has been rocking around for a while. So let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, Burning Curiosity. We'll be able to do that one once we get the required stuff, but... Looks like we might be fighting, um... Or we're probably going to be fighting some more, uh... I guess no, if that's not the case. Because I was I, I, I was thinking of Senna's backstory. I'm like, oh, we're going to be fighting that colony soon. But no, Senna and me are from the same colony, so no. Hey, Solon. How you doing? It's a real shame to lose Ethel. I don't think uh, she would have ever settled things with Kamarabi any other way, though. Just as she was prepared to accept that conclusion, there are things that came with it that we need to accept, too. I mean, the commander may be gone now, but that doesn't mean the colony will stop in its tracks. That's acceptance right there. So which growling. colony was Kamaravi leader of? I'm guessing it's a... I don't think it's a colony we haven't actually met yet, right? Because I feel like, you know, we would have noticed that. I'm not sure how this whole thing's going to work out, but if Boliaris has made his mind up, I won't go against it. Anyway, I'll reserve the right to watch him like a quad wing to try and figure out if he'll make a worthy successor to Ethel. Yeah, so there's probably... I mean, there's a few hero things still left. So we probably have a few colonies to check out still. I mean, obviously we still have um, wherever Sword March is and like some kind of Lost Ones hero, which is neat. I wonder how those heroes are going to count. Are they going to be Kavesi or Agnian? I don't know. Maybe they'll count for both or maybe depending on which colony they originally came from, they'll count off on as that one, basically. Okay, quests. Sorry, my mind is all over the place today. I just got back f uh, from the gym, so... It was a solid workout, and I'm just all over the place. 
Oof. And I'm still sore too. Owie. Oof. I don't know how Senna and Lands do it. Well, Lands is part machine, but I don't know how Senna does it. Well, she's part blade, so that's how they do it. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, loading screen. I know you got this. Thank you. Hey, Roland. Roland, how are the food supplies looking? If it's all there, I'll run it over. No, we're not done yet. The truth is, we just don't have enough. I don't think the colony is really in a position to be sharing right now. I see. Honestly, though, I'm more upset about the pro uh, prospect of losing my grub to those feather brains. <laughs> uh, such a long-standing tradition. I guess we got to keep it up. Hmm. I'd rather avoid forcing people to hand food over if at all possible. That'd be okay. We've kept this up because it was tradition, but if it's giving the colony a hard time, we might have to end it. Fine either way, your decision, Juniper. If you want to keep this Tyrkin alliance up, then we'll need a hand raising the supplies. I'm looking for green nectarines, Tyrkin grass, shiny roses, and glare aubergines. 50 of each, if you please. Oh my god. I like it fresh, too, so keep their per perishability in mind when you decide what to forge first. If you want to end the alliance, you'd better go and talk to the Tyrkins directly. Makes sense. I'll give it some thought. As I said, it's your decision. Got some food stocked in here, remember, so don't hesitate to give me a All shout. Right. Now to gather the offerings. Oh my the god. The holds some deeply alien customs. So I need 6 out of 50 green nectarine and all of the other things. Or I need to go to the Tyrkin hold and tell them, like, no, we're not doing this. Such a hassle. And my favorite part is having to give away perfectly edible food. That's enough winging, uh, whinging from me. Here's what I managed to gather. Do with it as you will. Oh, cool. Okay, you got some more. Thank you. Sure would be nice to eat and gather... Okay. So... Yeah, now I just need more of that stuff. Hey, Cardamine. Hmm, no word from Imogen. She left for Colony 4, I believe. I hope she's doing okay there. Where is Imogen? I hope everyone's getting along. Wait, you have another one? If you want to survive in this here mock the wildwood, you'll need to learn about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Why mushrooms? Huh, well they may look fun and all, but you better not be underestimating them. Some mushrooms are priceless treasures, others are toxic like you wouldn't believe. The nighty knight takes the crown there. You eat one of them by mistake, and then the next thing you know, you might wake up inside some monster's stomach. Mushroom knowledge. It's Neato. All making sense. So you're saying your name's Cardamine, not Cardamom. Alright, so... We're done here. Nope, there's more. That is a stack of pop- not on what? A little lonely at times, but life in back of beyond's actually a refreshing change. Local produce all very scrummy. Cannot complain. Always nice to have more the friends. The Satadon Bros? Look at you. Interesting. Hello, Graziana. Honorine brought some Napon to the colony with her, and they've got an appetite. I'm a little afraid of them. They're not quite like normal Napon. I'm sure it's fine, though. The world's a big place, full of weird and wonderful things. The Napon are here. And now we know things. Hey, Graziana's been added. Welcome. Or no, 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 you're you're scared of Napon. Okay, these Napon in particular. Alrighty. I think that is. Oh. Oh, you had a quest for me. It's, a, it's another submit items quest. Are you going to help us? It's hard to work, but what can you do? It's the way you've always done things. Here's how I managed to scrape together. Don't give it to Roland. Whatever you do, he'll only eat it. Oh, I can collect the green nectarines from you dorks. Just... I thought I was going to have to collect 50 on my own just by, like, walking around the map. But if I come back here regularly, these characters will give me some, it seems? Because that wasn't there for you earlier, right? Or maybe it's because I exhausted your dialogue and then you had the new update for that. I'm not sure if it's like a time-based thing, like if I just come back here later, you'll have what I need or what, but... Uh, I think we're gonna work on something else because I don't have what I need for that, so enemies and allies. Give me Alexandria back. So... Go ahead and hit our side quest, go talk to Riza. Wait, what? Talk with the specified characters of Riza. And it says it's right here. Where? I don't even see your 
thing anywhere close by. Oh! Oh, it's like, you must be like right out- oh, that's weird. So yeah, this is technically the closest, but you have to go through a loading screen to get there. How odd. How very, very odd. Uh-huh, and then... Wait, all the way down there? Wait, what? Did my thing screw up, or did I do something wrong? Because when I, I pressed... this... And, oh, now it's taking me over there. Taurus Hollow, oh! Oh, it's like a totally new area. That's why, I've never even been over there before. I was wondering, I was like, what is going on here? Aha, uh -huh. okay, this is, okay. Yeah, that was some weirdness because we're going to, like, I was trying to open the destination map, but we've never even been to this area before, so. Do you see the blade that Ouroboros is wielding? He was using these adorable little white things. Yep, they aren't just a weapon. You could carry your stuff or make for a convenient back scratcher. Talking about Tyon? The Mondo. Interesting news. Alright, so yeah, we've never been to this area before. This is how I was supposed to get over here. Yeah, it just took me a I second because when I pressed the destination map, it just, that? you know, led me to nowhere, basically. It was just like, here, this dark void. This is where you gotta go. Ha! But, alright, we're in here now. Ooh, so I can finish off hungry. someone's thingy. Caspar. Hope they appreciate our there you go. Work. Enjoy. Got a unicorn scarf out of that. All right, there's some hoxes and other dangerous things over here. Ooh. You're horrifying, but this area is very pretty. Wow. This area is certainly a looker. This feels like an area that's probably going to be important to the story sometime soon, right? Like, come on, look at this place. It's so beautiful. It certainly does strike an image. Hello, treasure. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This is one of the special chests. The design of you is interesting. What part are you, I wonder? This is probably a part of the Bionis and Mechonis. Can't quite tell what that is. It looked like the Monado for a second, like the middle bit of it. But I think this is just like a... I think it's like a shoulder. Like, I think that's the shoulder right down there. And then that's kind of like your elbow. It's probably the elbow of one of them. Very, very interesting. And I love these little lights here. Very gorgeous. Okay, well, new area. Fantastic. A lot of people to send, but um... If it's the big groups, I like to do those. Otherwise, it's like, eh. I will ex completely explore the map at some point, but, uh... Right now, not on my list of things to do. Is that a... That is an Igna riding one of the Rhinons. Out of my way! Ranster Igna. Alright. Boom. Alright, let's take you out, nerd. Thing. Extra launch damage. That was certainly big launch damage. Not say it was not. There we go. Break you. Back lead. Alright, you're going down, friend. Level 43. Now we're already higher level than you. Oh, I did that just a second too soon. But somebody else took care of it. Alright, we're finished. Don't think this is the norm. Who in the world said that was silly? Oh, was that you? I was like, who in the... That sounded weird. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I do want to play as Tyon. Why am I playing as Senna still? Alright, Senna. We gotta swap your class over to something new. Which... You don't really have anything new. Um... Probably just Thaumaturge. Probably just do Thaumaturge for you. Having you be a healer wouldn't be the worst call. And then... Noah... So Noah and Senna as my healers. 
And now I can put lands as uh, that class. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, swap you to that. You're a thaumaturge. And then, um... Somebody else needs to swap off of something. You're currently a lone exile. Go back on Yum Smith. Yeah. I'm fine with attacking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do for now until you unlock in cursor for everyone else. I wanted to work on Yum Smith for you some more anyway. Mio. Alrighty. Spear point thrust, violent flurry. Giant swing, all that stuff looks fine. Yeah, it's basically just putting the same stuff I had on you last time. Let's I see. better not lose Oop. this. Let's get some favorites here. We're recommended. What's the? Here we go. Protector headgear. Go ahead and throw one of those on. Beautiful. Okay, and who else swapped classes? Not you. You. Wide Slash, Glow Ring, No Love Lost. We also have access to Spear Point Thrust now. Not anything too crazy for you. Uh, Spear Point Thrust is physical at least. And so is this. Let's do that. That with Gale Slash will be fun. And then this thing, no. Soaring Tempest is better. Whenever I evade. Yep, boost damage and stuff. Looks good to me. Shorten's auto attack interval. Adds 20% chance to strike twice per attack. Let's give you increased agility. And you don't really need shortened auto attack interval. Lock rate. Deal damage when you take damage. Start each battle with aggro. Just take uh, the increased attack damage, I think. And yeah, that looks fine. And then you. Everything looks good there. Rank splitter, flurry, divine protection looks good. Physical attacks, protective pride, sappy sappy drain. Yeah. And sure. I'm not fussy about it. We're not exactly having difficulty right now. Alright, get me over on Tyon so Come I can on, uh, see what this stuff. And if I remember correctly, basically all your skills are just like, I love critting. Critting is my favorite hobby. Oh, hey, Goggles. You run into many Goggles. We're having a battle. Get me in the middle of this tree, please. Treasure. Might as well claim this. Might as well claim this. Is this Indeed, like Dion. A rare thing? All right, gemstones, shell cameo. What does that do? Accessories. Uh. Boost amount of HP restored to self. Interesting. Okay. Just keep going this way. I could go get in that fight, but eh, I don't really need it. I could get some knock on coins, but. Who cares? There's a treasure chest over there, though. I do want that. Oh my god, it's right beside the level 74. I don't know about that, though. If I want it that bad. Alright, I'll send you. It's your lucky day, Soldier Husk. I walked right by you, so... You can get sent. There we are. Beautiful. Bye bye, Sword Igna. I'm just gonna go talk to this person. Oh, we can tussle. Oh, I can't actually. Oh wait, no, I can't talk to you. You lost aggro. Good. He looks angry. Is is he angry? I thought I was walking into a cutscene. Is he mad at us? Riza, let's chat. You're scaring Senna. Sorry, not a talker. Oh, I see. Beware the monsters. M monsters? The storehouse is a little way out from here, so a little infestation is to be expected. It's hard to find, and the monsters save on guard duties. You could say they're the perfect anti-theft device. Yeah, this is the storehouse we were talking about that you said I could loot, but you said it was in like a dangerous area and far away. Risky business. 
R right, I see. We'll be careful. Ask Shell. And Dame Alex? Yes? Be nice. I'm nice? You don't have to tell me. Don't bother yourself with me. Come on then, let's get moving. Let go. So that's the state of affairs. You have been updated. Not a talker, is that what it's gonna say? Reliable colleagues. Alrighty. Shall we Got deal some with hatter it? piles and stuff. A scary vein. Oh, I didn't even see you. Hello. Alright, cool. Beautiful sword. Boom. So... Sidewinder is AoE back crit rate up. Okay. Beautiful. Very, very cool looking sword. You're supposed to be following me! Reminds me of a lot of... Wait, why is my... Objective say Oh, because I'm going lower. Um... It reminds me of a lot of different well, weapons. I'm trying to think. There's a there's a weapon in um, Dark Souls that it really, really reminds me of. It looks very, very cool. Also, I guess reminds me of like a much, much tinier version of Zeke's uh, weapon with uh, Pandoria. But obviously this one's way smaller. Definitely reminds me more of a few different Dark Souls uh, weapons. God, these things are very, very annoying. Thing. Boom. I should put on the uh, do extra damage when you art cancel things on you specifically. But you do just love critting so much. That's why I'm like crit crit all day. I do find I just really like this class so far. It is pretty simple. And uh, the arts go off pretty quickly and everything. And I was the M Riser, eh? I don't get how a guy can be so calm. He's already in his tenth term. And he looks more like an Arden by the day. Yeah. Alright, get me through here, please. Jaggy Pecan. You don't say. Alright. God, this is a big cave system. Jeez. Look at this thing go. Okay, it says we need to go down here, so that means I want to go over here. Because there might be stoof. Might be hidden stoof. You think you're all that, do ya? Boom. Hello, dorks. Yeah. No love lost. These stupid hoxes. Hello. That one's too busy digging something up. I just hit you though. That's a nice AoE ability. Okay, it's fine. I'll inflict this one with break too. Wow, we have a lot of break arts. Maybe have too many break arts, even. Possibly. Alrighty, let's just keep going down z way. I really don't want to fight any more Hoxes. Bye-bye. I'm just gonna run right on past you. So it looks like this... ...potentially ends up linking to where I want to go to. No, it is telling me to go back there. Okay, so this is totally optional. That's why I wanted to go down here. Go away, stupid vangs, I swear. So annoying. Crispy peach, sheen cedar. And bronze wood. We are getting a lot of wood in here. That's, uh, unique. Level 43. Well, I want the treasure. I walked all the way down here for it, so... Got Night Stalker Velodia. Exodia Obliterate! Whoops, I looked to the side. Or, well, rather, I missed. Alright, boom. Yeah, this is a very fast class. I really do like that about it. Oh my god, all these caterpillars are joining? Why are the caterpillars fighting with the bang? Oh god. This is no bueno. This is awful, in fact. No. Quit it. Okay. Everybody get up, please. All of these joining the fight was not something I was prepared for. But, um... Please. God, it's times like this where you wish you could have items. Can you please go away, Caterpile, that's currently trying to hump me? Because... Oh, God. Yep. 
Yep, we're down. Noah, please. This is not good. I think if we AoE'd all the Caterpiles with maybe an AoE attack or something at some point. Holy shit. We are struggling. We are going to be dying here soon because they're in that form. I mean, at least they all have the aggro. That's good. Yeah. Someone went down. Send up, please. Okay, okay, we cleared out the stupid counter piles. Now we can focus on you. Uh huh. Uh, that was not the correct spot to do that in. Okay. Whew. Things are kind of under control now. Why are you. Oh my god, these stupid counter piles. Okay, I didn't realize how much of a nightmare this room was gonna be because there were 60 counter piles in here before that boss. Oh gods, and I'm all the way fucking up here. Oh, Jesus. Fucking H Christmas. Alright, I'm back over here. I didn't grab that- the shiny right here this time. I am gonna save before I walk in there this time, but like, look at these caterpiles. What were they aggroing on me for? Was it calling them into the fight? These things are not aggressive. Oh, I'm, uh, they were either calling them into the fight, or I was accidentally hitting, hitting them with AoE things while I was fighting the main boss. One of the two. But, at least it seems like most of the caterpiles I killed stayed dead. Oh wait, no, they're coming out of the ground right now. So I'm gonna have to clear these out a little bit, I think. Just to make my life it's easier. To keep a record of events. Alrighty. Hello. All you big stupid doofuses. I don't even know why you want to fight with that thing, it's a bat! Well Alright. Most of the caterpiles are cleared out now. And... Yeah, I, I think if, like, two come into the fight, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. But, yeah, it definitely wanted me to clear those out or have them be unaggressive for this fight, I feel. Alright, the launch. Boom. Get some big damage in here. I think this is totally going to be possible now. Just last time. God. That was certainly annoying. There's so many of them joining, and as soon as I started recovering, this jackass started doing this. Bang. Boom. There we go. This big damn DiMaggio. I was gonna say damage, and then I was like, but no, I always say DiMaggio, so then I just combine the two. Alrighty. Very tanky enemy, but as soon as I get that chain attack, your ass is going down. Okay, thank you for grabbing that. Um, I should have saved this for if you actually get launched. But... Come on, somebody. Oh, I can topple. Oops, I forgot I had to topple on you as well. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, there we are. Um, and there we go. Go. If I could topple and launch you again for the chain attack, that would be pretty amazing. Ooh, that got me. Owie. Okay, there you are. Now you're toppled. Daze? Okay, I'll take a daze. Daze is good with me. Alright, I'll just do this chain attack really quick. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're new. We can't do that. During chain attack, increases critical rate by 25%. Interesting. I will take that. So, what's your special ability? I forgot. Yeah, we haven't actually done an attack with you. Multiplies TP by 125% when first in line to attack and makes all attacks critical. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Cool. Um, we're well, already broken. Let's go ahead and do one of these. And that gets us all the way up to 64% just like that. And I'm probably going to be finishing the order off with... Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to use Ty on. I don't think Yuni's going to make it. Let's uh, use Noah to get up there. Sounds good to me. I don't... Well, Tyon, Tyon will definitely make it with the uh, bonus and everything, which is good. 
that crit. Yeah. Definitely getting there. With the, um, whatchamacallit bonus. The, uh, class bonus. So, that's what you're all about. Cool. Now I can just finish the rest of this off. There we go. 415% bonus XP. Good stuff. Yeah, you were much easier that time. Jeez. But we did it. Good shit. Got a circlet of wisdom, got a bunch of Nopon coins. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now I just want to get down to that stupid objective that's over here. How rude of you to have all those Caterpile ambush me. I have to assume the boss was either bringing them into the fight, or, uh... I was just hitting them with AoE abilities, I'm not sure which, though. But taking them out beforehand seemed to... work out just fine for my needs. I got so close to pulling it off, um... without needing to do that. Um, please don't hit me. Please get seen by another one, I've got a switch. Oop. I... Ooh, I'm, a, I'm an attacker. I gotta lose them in fast before I die. Okay. Oof. Well, nope, I... Damn it all, I was trying to switch to Lance. Um... Lance, okay. Now let's sheath the weapons and go. I'm a... I'm a... I'm a tank now. We got this. <laughs> Lance, you run really funny. What is this? You run very, very funny. I'll leave us alone. There we go. Alright, give me tie on back now. God, there's our checkpoint that I needed earlier. God, those things are horrifying. Alrighty, and our objective is just hanging out right in here. At least we have a nice checkpoint to come back to if I die for some reason now. I'm just gonna switch back to lands now. Just in case we grab some aggro from you dorks. I can just run right past you. Yeah, see, lands don't feel it. Lands don't fucking care. I don't know why I turned you into Kuno from Disco Elysium, but... <laughs> That's who you became! Alrighty. Tyon! God, you, you dorks walk past this every single time you want to access your stash? Jesus. So this is the storehouse. Wings flapping wings. All this stuff is yours. Yep, and we're not at full capacity. Let me introduce you. This is Shell, our storehouse manager extraordinaire. So, Shell, everything should be as previously discussed. As of now, our friends here are on resource distribution. Fine with me. Needs to be done. And the more surveillance, the better. Who's surveying who? All of you are surveying me, of course. When you're living under the fame clock, your allies and enemies are clear. Whoever you can get the fire from is your enemy, simple as that. We can't live by those rules anymore. Enemies and allies. I think Mio and Senna, possibly Mio, probably pull off the uh, Manana outfit the best. Senna, uh, Mio just looks so cute in the hat. Senna looked cute in it as well. Change the penny on you yourself. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Forcing conflict is just one effect of the flame clock. Couldn't we also say that the flame clocks controlled our behavior? That's it. The time's ripe for traitors to emerge, so it's dangerous for any one person to hold too much power. Do you doubt your own comrades that much? Of course I don't doubt them. I know they can get whatever job done. We're all pretty brilliant here. It's the only thing that counts in your eyes is ability. Let me ask you then, would you trust some researchers sat at their desk all day with some menial labor? Would you put a soldier who couldn't pilot a bathtub in the cockpit of a Levness? Personal skill is what counts in tactics. As long as you believe in that, that's enough. Does anyone disagree? Alexandria, you... She's a right pain, isn't she? Give it a rest, Shell. I think it's a wise assessment. No one knows how things are going to change. Keep an eye on me or not, I'm with Dame Alex, that's all. You only care for Alexandria, don't you? I do. A lot. But I'm 10th term. Not got much time left. And Dame Alex needs allies more than anything. 
Please be good to her. You shouldn't talk like that. About what time you have left. I suppose you're right. Didn't mean to talk for this long. Anyway, about Colony 4's resources. First just got to do this. Supply distribution authorization granted. What was that? You got access rights to the goods. You could think of it as unlocking a new function of the Collectopedia guards. You really packed it with features, didn't you? It's nice to see you surprised. This isn't a surprise, it's a shock. It's pretty user-friendly. Just name the commander of the colony you want to send to. Then just pick your supplies and done. Colony Force Commander. No need to worry. It's all been arranged with Boliaris, the acting commander. You can use his name in this instance. Cool! It's easier to pick it up by doing, to be honest. Give it a go! Is this just a way to, like, increase affinity? So that's the state of affairs. By just choosing who to give it to? Alexandria, longtime ally. Yeah, I can just, like, control where I want my, uh, affinity to go. Or, oh, okay, this is just... It was saying it was a new function of the cards, so I was like, is this actually a new feature? But we're basically just... We can get the commanders as people that want things now. Thanks in advance. Finally, there you go. And that's some more affinity with Colony 4. Neato. So, I did it. Anything else hiding in here? I guess not, huh? Alrighty, hello, Shell. I did the thing. Yep, everything went through no problem. You've got authority over about half of the resources in this room. How you divvy it up is absolutely up to you. We're trusting you to distribute it according to the common good. Common what now? Each colony according to its need, in it. If we scratch their back, they'll scratch ours in the future. It's like an investment that'll pay dividends to us later. Okay, so will I just get access to more that I can send to people? Collectopedia cards can now be used to send supplies to other colonies. Alexandria and the others consider it a worthwhile investment. Interesting. I see. Very, very cool. Okay, so is this like... This makes me think of like love sources and um... Uh, Xeno 2? Yeah, I can just send to whoever I want. Um, well they each give like unique things. So, yeah, Juniper needs a lot. Juniper needs a lot, but I also want to think about what rewards I get for it. <sighs> That's so many of them, Juniper, and you're just giving me a Sapphire? Challenger Gauntlet. What is an Incense of Calm? I know what a Circulate of Wisdom is. Star Inklets I'm kind of interested in as well. Well, Juniper definitely needs it. Thank you for all the help you've given us. Cooperating, Colony Tau and Iota. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Like I said, they definitely need it. I'm not going to look at it at the rewards. I'm going to look at it from who needs it the most. And I believe Xeon's the other one that needs Finally it the most. So, Iota and Colony 9 working together. So I can still give some to Valdi. And I can still give some to Izzard. I think Izzard needs them as well, Finally so we'll, we'll give you some. I'm interested in what an Incense of Calm is too. Cooperating. So if we go look on the affinity chart now, will it actually... It kind... Yeah, okay, so it... Yeah, 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 it shows who you're cooperating with. So you're cooperating with nine. Oh, that's neat. I like that, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we never actually found Sigma, did we? Can we find... Let's see, there's Gamma. Sigma, so is that just the ruins of everybody playing? Because, yeah, they're not around anymore, but I don't recall seeing the ruins of Sigma. I might just be forgetting, though. But that looks like... Yeah, defeated by Colony 9 and Skirmish on Evernight Plain... On Everblight Plain. So, I don't suppose I can, like, walk around here to get to you or anything. I'm guessing that colony's just completely gone because they took it out. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.